on the other side. Um, previously, we had to spend some time setting this file up <coughs> in the uh, modeling workspace based on a step file. Um, I actually had a crash uh, making this video. Uh, so this is my second glue through here. So uh, be a little aware here that there is quite a bit of data being moved around. Um, and to be a little careful uh, with showing and hiding, which is what I just crashed that dude. Um, nonetheless, uh, we're back. Uh, it did save it, so we're doing okay. Um, what we see here is the usual uh, bandit look. Again, depending on your settings, you might have bandit or smooth. Uh, let's look at bandit for now. Um, legend, all that stuff is fine. Um, essentially, what it's saying here is a minimal uh, safety factor, 1.5. And if you hover over this, it'll say you're designed marginally with stands applied loads. This is not great. Um, but as we would probably expect, if we hide this stuff, um, we can see where the, the stresses are here. Um, they're up, probably got here a uh, safety factor up to six. Um, there's nothing below one, luckily. Uh, you can see it's quite a bit uh, in the six region, just a little tiny bit uh, down at the minimum here. We want to see exactly where that is. Get after this minimum. And it is where we would think it would be, which is inside this. Uh, interface between the thread ending where the maximum bending is being applied. Now this is in uh, tension. And we do see quite a bit of uh, stress around the compression side of the fitting as well, and the assembly. Um, so no surprise here. Um, we would probably, and this is kind of implying that we should do a local uh, mesh. So inside of here we can do a um, that we can finish the results and do a local mesh uh, kind of improvement to have a look at this. Uh, but the key thing here is to notice that we're doing okay uh, overall, but we notice that our failure points are exactly where we would expect. Um, in the shape, the deformation of the loop where the load has been applied, the stress rises back and front of the bend. Again, no surprise there. And on the back and front of the thread, we notice here that it's much a more stressed point. These are small areas, probably not something that we need to worry about too much. Again, if we've got a load in here with a bearing surface, this will hold this in in reasonable check. Again, but our main problem is going to emerge down here at the plate. To hide this min-max, just click hide min-max. Um, we can hide the plate. We're not too interested in the plate. So let's just hide that. Now I'm going to switch over to smooth and say OK to that and just show the whole thing. No surprise here. We're getting exactly what we would expect. Interestingly, a little bit of asymmetry in the stress caused by the offset, uh, so that crack at the start of the threading. Again, this may or may not actually be how the real part is. Uh, this is a micro detail. Um, and this is where we start to think about things like burnishing, uh, polishing, and so on and so forth. Uh, and exactly how this thread ends on the part. Um, keep in mind, though, that uh, this week is all about how to remove this problem altogether. Um, the goal here is to uh, figure out how to not even get to this problem. Uh, and so this video is just a sort of tail end of how justifying why we would like to get rid of it. Um, just going to have a little look here at the animation of this. Just give it some more frames so we can get a good feel for this. And we can see it emerging uh, as we would expect. Uh, around about in the right normal spot. Uh, this is what crashed it before, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, pulling the step uh, counter just to let you shift it around. I'm not going to trigger it again. Maybe I am. I don't know. So we could also change our deformation skill to have a look. And as we would suspect or expect, uh, the threads are 
quite firmly held by the plate, obviously. And you can see the plate getting pulled up and crushed down, of course, by this rod end. So we do have some uh, problems, but again, this is very adjusted, this is very accentuated. So maybe adjusted times a half. You can see it's getting pulled to the left from this front view. No surprise. Um, sometimes we like to look inside. Uh, Fusion does do a solid mesh, so we can, for example, ask for oops, we can ask for a slice plane. Um, doesn't let you pick from the origin, I believe. No. So you have to choose from this face out here. Say, um, I know it's 50 deep, to, so 25 minus 25. Um, add some more stuff in here. I like to see the mesh in my cut. Uh, right now, I'm gonna I'm gonna hide the plane in a second here. You can add vectors if you wish to show things like movements and adjust the movements and all that sort of stuff. But for for now, that's fine. And if you want, you can just show the clipping. If you just want like a kind of an image. So this is quite handy actually. Um, if you can get it live, you can also hide the, the plane that it's making. And you can have a look at it as it rotates around. Um, it's, it, it's kind of up to you how you want to run this stuff. Uh, you can see the, the, the pivot position is not easy to control. Obviously you tend to just do one and then another to look the other way. So we can say okay to this. I'm going to turn the clipping on. So we get the whole part and say okay to that. And if you want, you can make another one uh, going the other way. And just say okay to that. Get, oh, didn't get the whole right. Wait to see it. Not my grid missing. Toggle that a bit. So there's our part. If we can hide, we can hide them select selectively here. But you can see here that these are all fairly shallow stresses. So I don't know if this would be a total failure, but we can see where the problem is. And if we're wanting to see stuff, we can just turn them off. Turn them back on. As we would suspect, on the in the mid point, mid plane of the bend, there are almost no stresses. Right. Here we go. Hide the plate. Have a, one last look at this. Uh, next steps would be to uh, start to densify the mesh in here, if we wanted to continue with this. Uh, but arguably, and again, i uh, like to draw your attention to that this is the part that's breaking the rule. So it's no surprise that we're actually experiencing these sort of high stresses in here. Uh, we can, Nikolai, for example, will be able to talk uh, at, at uh, fascinating length about why uh, this would follow up here. Uh, but it's to do with asymmetry of the mesh, controlled by the asymmetry of the part. Um, that's about it. Uh, this gives us a good reason for believing Orlov, and we'll go from there. If you want to have a look at other things, you can, of course, displacement. Very obviously, most highest at the top, and zero at the bottom. The, there is some movement inside of the plate itself, but I suspect not at the bottom, because the whole part's embedded in there. Uh, stress. Again, top, not bottom. And we get the typical bending uh, profiles through here. All low or low to zero in the middle. And again, it's a real part, so you won't get it perfect uh, zero through the center of the bending. And it gets complicated as it comes up through here into the low. But that's looking fairly normal. Again, if you want to uh, adjust this, you can always remove things and have a look at where the stress is flowing through. You can see almost nothing in the thread, so these are essentially not providing any, any stress or strength resistance to failure. 
instead we're seeing it all in the shaft and coming out of these threads where they're just bending within loose the, the, the gaps between the threads inside the plate. Uh, once it gets deep enough and the preload gets on it, this is not preloaded in the uh, simulation, so this would be a double bad it's an unpreloaded thread. Uh, strain and contact pressures is available. Nothing unexpected uh, through here. Safety factors are usually what we're looking at. And we can see where our safety factor is. Mm -hmm. So, there we go. Uh, that's about it for this video. Uh, from here, I'll swing on by to the uh, guided tour of how to mod remodel this guy from a bad design into a better design. Thanks for watching. Over to you.